Good morning, class. How are you today? Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan kayo. Sa kabila ng nga rin na nasa natin ngayon, at tayo ay nasa new normal na pinatawag. Alam ko hindi madali ang buhay natin ngayon at tayo ay tumadaan sa matinding hamon sa buhay. At ito nga ang pandemya, ang COVID-19 virus na pangitin ng maraming buhay. Hanggang ngayon, marami pa rin kaso ang naitatala araw-araw sa iba't ibang parte ng Pilipinas. Kaya bilang guro, kailangan ko kayong paalalahanan talagi sa pagsunod sa mga minimum health protocols gaya ng pagsasot ng face mask at face shield, lalo na sa mga matatakang lugar. Maintain social distancing na mga dalawang litro pagitan at panatilihing maghugas ng kamay, sabay-sabon, Dahil sa pamagitan nito, ay kaya pa nung maibsa ng pagkalat sa nasabing virus. So yun. Magandang araw. I am Melvin Ray Alim and today we will be discussing another special pair of angles, the supplementary angles and complementary angles. For this day, the following will be our objectives. One, define, <clears throat> excuse me, define and illustrate supplementary and complementary angles. Number two, describe the relationship between pair of angles in a real life settings. And number three, create a memes or video presentations on TikTok for any video apps performing supplementary and complementary angles using the body parts. We knew that angles are useful in our daily life, so it is important to learn and understand them. For example, um, the minute hand of a wall clock turns angle 360 degrees to make a minute. It takes the Earth 24 hours to rotate at an angle of 360 degrees, and that's how the clocks are designed to synchronize with the rotation of the Earth. For many such reasons, it is therefore necessary to study angles. Before we'll proceed to, let us review first the definition of angle pairs. Angle pairs are angles that appear in twos to display a certain geometri geometrical property. So, Pag-usapan muna natin yung mga bagay na pares. Kasi every time na mapag-usapan natin ang complementary at saka supplementary angles, hindi ito nag-iisa. Ito ay dalawahan, kaya nga pares. Kagaya ng nasa slide natin, ano-anong um, mga bagay na nandito? Tingnan mabuti. So, nandiyan ang pair of socks, pair of slippers, at pwede rin working together. Pwede natin siyang i-apply sa mga pangyayari sa ating paligid ngayon, gaya ng nangyari sa bansang Myanmar. Nagkaroon ng matinding protesta laban sa mga militar doon. Bilang isang mamamayan sa bansa na iyon, um, ano ba yung pwede mong gawin para mapigilan ang ganong mga inconvenience? Ika nga, na siyang may malaking epekto sa ekonomiya at turismo ng bansa. So, nasa sarili mo yun at sa um, plano mo sa iyong bansa. O di kaya ay sa pagtugon sa mga panawagan ng ating gobyerno ukol sa mga health protocols. So bilang bilang kabilang na mamayan, ano ba ang pwede mong gawing hakbang lalo na sa mga kabataan? So mga ganong bagay ba? Ikaw at ang bansa, isang halimbawa si pagiging pares. So it's all about decision making for the goodness of your country. Ito nga. Okay. So this time around, 
pag-usapan na natin ang complementary angles. Complementary angles. Two angles are called complementary angles if the sum of their degree measurements equals 90 degrees for right angle. One of the complementary angles is said to be the complement of the other. Um, remember that the two angles do not need to be together or adjust adjacent. They just need to add up to 90 degrees. If the two complementary angles are adjacent, then they will form a right angle. We have here illustrations on complementary angles. On the, on the first box, it is obvious even without adding the two angles, we knew that the pair is complementary because of the situation of perpendicular lines. On the other side, the second box, the two angles are not together, as you can see, but they are still complementary angles. Why? Because adding the 27 degrees plus 63 degrees, it, it will equal to 90 degrees. Tano. Ang complementary angles ba ay makikita natin sa ating bahay? Ang sagot ay oo. Sa mga pagkain, gaya ng pizza, gaya na dyan sa ating slide ngayon, makikita mo dyan, makikita mo din sa mga slices ng pizza. Sa mga protas gaya ng limon, pag ini-slice natin yon makikita natin ang mga linya na kagaya nung sa pizza at sa mga corner ng bahay natin. Yan. Yan ang one of the applications on uh, identifying complementary angles in area life settings. Ngayon naman, ay pag-usapan natin ang supplementary angles. Two angles are called supplementary angles if the sum of their degree measurements equals 180 degrees stra or straight line. One of the supplementary angles is said to be the supplement of the other. And again, um, the two angles do not need to be together or adjacent. They just need to add up to 180 degrees. If the two supplementary angles are adjacent, then they will form a straight line. Um, in this slide, is the restriction of supplementary angles. Notice that the two rays form a straight line. Right? Even if the two angles were not together. In this slides, in this slide are the common things we see outside or even outside our house. We have the super highway intersection, our uh, dependent area of the court, or even the portion of the floor of your house or in a pile portion in your house. So we can actually um, feel the um, angles which is supplementary, which are supplementary. But on the next video or on the next slide, I want you to listen to this video from Ed Puzzle. Um, this is actually the um, added sources for our lesson for the day. Okay. It is a video from, um, this is a video from Ed Puzzle discussing about complementary angles and supplementary angles. From the video, you would um, notice a bubble-like icon. This one. This one here. This one. There are how many bubbles, bubble-like icons? So you have there one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. From that point in the bubble icon, there is a question that you need to answer before we can proceed to the topic or to the next illustrative example. There are seven bubbles there that we need to answer. So this is part of our presentation on how you understand the topic today. So you may get some pieces of papers and pencils so you can present your solutions and derive a correct answer. So good luck, here we go. Um, your attention, please. Our voca vocabulary for today in our geometry unit, we have complementary angles. All right, these are two angles. They're complementary because they add up to be 90 degrees or a right angle. We have supplementary angles. These are two angles. And they're called supplementary because they add up to be 180 degrees. That's a little tricky to remember. You can think of C. Complementary stands for the corner, like at a right angle has a corner. The S you can think of for straight because you'll see in a moment 180 degrees is our straight line. Let's first take a look at the right angle. Quick review. A right angle you can see on the protractor here is 90 degree angle. Let's review that. And here are some examples to review of right angles. Always remember these two lines come together at a right angle and they're perpendicular. You'll have this nice square in the middle to remind you that it is a perfect right angle. Complementary angles. All right. Again, there are two angles that you can put them together to form a right angle. In order to find a to form that right angle, they need to equal 90 degrees. 58 degrees is this angle, plus 32 degrees makes 90 degrees. Complementary angles also do not have to be stuck together, okay, as long as they still equal 90 degrees. They're complementary. 27 degrees from this angle right here, plus the 63 degree angle makes 90 degrees. Remember now, as we're searching for a missing angle, let's use subtraction. And I'll show you how we'll do this. There we go. All right, take a look here. Watch me as I demonstrate. We're going to find the missing degree for angle A right here. All right, so far we do recognize this is a square right here. So this is a 90 degree angle. And right here, this part of this angle is already told telling us that it's 65 degrees. So if we have a 90 degree angle and we subtract 65 degrees from it, then we'll find that missing angle of, of 25 degrees. And that's what the letter A angle is, 25 degrees. Take a look down here at the yellow arrow. Take a look at this angle. We have 49 degrees already. Uh, noted right here, we need to find the missing angle, letter A. So the first question is, what types of angles are these? So you have there the choices, vertical, complementary, consecutive, supplementary. Your answer is... Okay, complementary, then we need to submit it. There we go. So your score is 100 out of 100. So therefore, it's checked. So uh, let's click continue. Letter A. Okay. Again, it's a 90 degree angle. That we is can how it subtract goes. 49 degrees from 90. All right. 90 minus 49 makes 41 degrees. Let's take a look here. Actually, it's your turn to try this. I want you to use your polling. Here we go. Again, you're finding the missing angle A. All right, looking at number one, you have 67 degrees given to you. What is the missing piece right here, letter A? Go ahead and calculate that, please.
Okay, the second question is find the missing measurement of, for angle A. Choices 113, 23, 67, 90. Your answer is 23. Submit, then let us see, so check, then continue. All right, let's take a look. If it's a 90 degree angle, which it is, you are going to subtract 90 minus 67. The missing angle A is 23 degrees. All right, now it's your turn to try number two. You're given part of this angle as 31 degrees. What is the missing part of this angle? Letter A here. Go ahead and answer that. Question number three. Yeah, question number three. What is the missing angle for letter A? Traces 180 degrees, 59 degrees for second choice. Third choice is 67 degrees. The answer is 59. So let's submit. Okay, there you go, check, then press continue. Again, it's a 90 degree angle all together. So you're gonna take 90 degrees minus the 31 degrees to find that missing angle of 59 degrees. Nice job. Let's take a look at supplementary angles. All right, this is the one that's a straight line. Right here is 180 degree, yes, it's called an angle, <laughs> but it is a line also, right? So all the way around equals a total of 180 degrees. Here's an example. If it is 150 degrees to get this far, the rest of it's 30 degrees to give you a total of 180 degrees. Angles on one side of a straight line always add up to 180 degrees. Let's take a look at another example. These two angles, they share a vertex right here and a side to form the line. Two angles that can be pasted together to form a straight line of 180 degrees. 139 degrees plus 41 degrees equals 180 degrees. Again, here's another look at it. This time, the angles are not pasted together, but they are still supplementary because the sum of their measures, 139 degrees, plus 41 degrees. Okay, next question. These two angles will equal what? Choices, 139. Next choice, 180. Third, 47. Fourth, 90. The answer is 180. Submit. Okay, check. Continue. Gives you 180 degrees. So it makes that supplementary angles. All right, let's practice this. Again, I'm using subtraction to find a missing angle. What is the missing degree for angle A? Again, I'm going to use subtraction because we do know that 45 degrees is the amount right here. But what's the other angle, angle A? Well, angle A is 180 degrees minus what we're given, 45 degrees, and it gives me a total of 135 degrees of the missing letter A angle. All right, take a look. I'm going to demonstrate again. I'm going to use subtraction to find my missing angle. Watch me as I find the missing angle for A. All right, looks like I'm given up here at the top 60 degrees so far, and I need to find this big angle right here, the A that's missing. I'm going to remember that this is 180 degrees all the way across the bottom, so 180 degrees minus the given 60 degrees makes 120 degrees. All right, take your eyes down to the bottom. All right, I am given 92 degrees. I need to find the missing A, and I do know that straight across the bottom here makes a total of 180 degrees. Question. What is the measurement of A? Choices, 92, 
Next, 180. Next, 88. Answer. Submit. Ah, there you go. Degrees. So I'm going to take 180 degrees minus the given angle of 92, and it gives me 88 degrees total for my missing angle A. Your turn. What's the missing degree for angle A in number one? Use your pulling, please. What is the missing angle A? Traces, 180 degrees, 39 degrees, 29 degrees. Answer? Okay. All right, there we go. There is your answer, 180 degrees minus 151 degrees gives you the missing piece of 29 degrees. Take your eyes down to number two with me, please. Take a look at this angle. You're given 28 degrees. What's the missing degree for angle A? Go ahead and figure this one out. Okay, next question. What is the missing degree for an angle A? Traces, 90 degrees. 152 degrees, uh, 160 degrees. Answer? Okay. Oops. Okay, so that's all. This time, we will proceed to our activity for today. Okay, activity number one. This time, as part of your assignment, um, you are going to make a meme. <laughs> By the way, are you familiar with this? Okay, let me define first. Meme. Meme is an amusing or interesting item such as a caption, picture, or video, as you can see in the slides, or genre of items that is spread widely online, especially through social media. So the direction is you are going to make a meme with your own picture. Okay, so you may start thinking about your plan for your meme with picture so this is our activity number one this is our assignment and next is you're going to make a TikTok videos like this yeah this automatic freeze in full effect okay so you're going to make a TikTok video presentation um, using your body parts performing complementary and supplementary angles. As you have witnessed a while ago, the TikTok uh, video presentation of the two ladies. Okay, so I think that's all for today. Thank you for listening. And may God bless us all. I am going to be your teacher.